Hello and welcome to the training videos for the new HTML5 City of Wichita Public GIS Viewer. I'm going to go through the navigation functions on this first video and then we'll get into the toolbar and subsequent videos. The new HTML5 Viewer is very similar to our previous one. It's based on new development technology and comes with several enhancements and a cleaner interface. By default, you can see that the toolbar and the layer list is collapsed. Um, just like in the previous viewer, you can access the layer list by this icon here. Have access to all the different information that the GIS group provides. All of the functionality from the previous viewer has been persisted in this version. Uh, one of the nice additions for this uh, HTML5 version is it is um, compliant with mobile devices and, and uh, mobile phones. It is uh, compliant with touchscreen monitors and tablets. So hopefully there will be quite a bit of uh, additional utilization for the viewer. Um, just like before getting around in the viewer, you can zoom in and out by using the scroll wheel, or you can use the shift key and your left mouse button to draw an extent right rectangle, and it'll zoom to that, or you can do a control shift, draw another extent, and it'll zoom out that percentage of the screen. So getting around is, is very similar to the previous application. Very straightforward. You can choose which base map you want to have as your map through this tool down here, either the aerial photography or the standard base map. Um, the I want to menu has been improved. Uh, we have some of the more frequently uh, accessed tools available right here. And if you want to get to the additional tools, you can just double click this uh, border up top, or you can use the toolbar icon over here to the right. Accessing more information is the same as the previous viewer, turning on layers, um, zooming to the visible scale of those layers. As you can see, the performance is significantly enhanced in this version of the viewer. I can get back to my layer list by closing that dialog box. I can access the legend by this menu item here and go back to my layer list with that same item. On the getting around tab, we have all the standard tools for navigation. You can also zoom by the plus and minus icons over here and access some of the predefined bookmarks that we've provided. Any of the items in the table of contents, the available layers with the plus mark next to it means that there's additional data inside of there. I can click on this icon to access a glimpse of the legend for these different items. I can also, like I said, access the legend by this menu item here. The right click menu is the same as it was in the previous viewer. If I just right click on my map, I have access to various tools and capabilities. I can turn my aerials on from this menu item, turn them off. This is just right clicking. Uh, I can do an identify to get information about that particular address. 
So the identify is a little bit different in this version. As you can see in the information pane, it brings up a, a quick snapshot from Google Street View and then gives you details about that parcel. There's a link to get out to the Sedgwick County property appraisal information from there as well. That link will open up in another window or another tab, depending on your settings in your browser and take you to the property detail page for that particular property. Back in the viewer, I can just close my identify results and clear my screen. I can open my layer list, manage the different data sets that I have available or that are visible. Our integration with Google uh, Maps is still existing. Instead of it automatically opening up in a new window, it opens up in a pane down below. And in addition to Google Maps, we've also added integration with Bing Maps. So if I turn Bing Maps on, you can see uh, in my viewer map frame, it indicates where I'm at and I can even navigate utilizing those icons on the map. Um, Bing map provides bird's eye view of aerial photography. I can rotate my view in Bing maps. I can undock my window if I want and open it up in a, a whole nother browser window for either Google maps or Bing maps. And as I interact with Google Maps, you can see in the viewer data for map frame, it indicates my position there. So it's linked. Can get out of that just by closing these two windows and I'm back in my map. I can change the coordinate system that is displayed on my screen. As I move around and click on the map, you can see my coordinates are indicated there as well as my scale bar. And we have our standard overview map. You can still navigate utilizing the overview map if you wish. And as you move in the map frame, the overview map will follow along with you. Collapse the overview map with this arrow here. So again, accessing my toolbar, I can either double click in the uh, upper border or I can use my open toolbar icon and on this first tab we've got like I said the various navigation tools that are pretty standard a link to our training videos and a link to the uh, GIS homepage at wichita.gov so that concludes our first session uh, please uh, take time to watch the subsequent videos and I really think you're going to enjoy this new version of our um, GIS viewer for the public. Thanks and have a great day.